Hello, hello, good evening, guys. How are you? Can you hear me? Good evening, teacher. Antonio, Ingrid, good evening. Good evening, good evening. How are you? Good. How's everything? Let's see, let's see, let's see. Good evening. I am so sorry for the delay. Perdón por el retraso, but the weather is affecting a lot. El clima como que nos afectó. But we are here. That's no problem, teacher. important. So, hello, how are you? Let's see, Magdaleno. Thank you, Antonio. Magdaleno, good evening. We're we were meeting you yesterday. Yeah, teacher, good evening. <clears throat> and uh, yesterday I had busy. I had to ministry one birthday in the church. And at I church. had work at church. Okay, at church. Okay. I had work yesterday. So sorry. Well, but the good thing is that you are here. The important thing is that. Thank you. That's what really matters to have you here. Let's see, Antonio Rodas, good evening. How are you? Good evening, teacher. I'm great. Today, I'm great. That's nice. That's nice. How was your day? Mm, it was, uh, uh, I had a, a few work. Oh, really? Well, the good thing is, as I was saying before, the good thing is that you are here tonight. That's what matters. And you can relax a little bit in the class. Welcome to the class, Antonio. Let's see, let's see. Gabriel, Gabriel, we were missing you yesterday. Yo. How are you, Gabriel? Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. How are you, my friend? ¿Cómo estamos? Ready for the class? Uh, uh, pues... Having... Para la clase? Having... Yes, yes, yes. Yes, I am. That's great, that's great, that's great. That's the attitude. Excellent. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Who okay. else is around? Who else is around? Chiamara uh, uh, uh. Elizabeth, good evening. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, how are you? Excellent. Good. Great, great, great. Nice. Yeah. How was the weather for you? The Today it's sunny. Today it's hot. Yesterday yeah. it was cold. Yeah, you're right. You're right. Today it's been very, very hot. hot. Yeah. It's been terrible. Yes. But at least you are home safe. I mean, I just think that because this storm was pretty heavy. The moment of the Yes, teacher. Let's see who else is around. Hey, Ingrid. Good evening. Hi, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. How are you? Uh, very well, teacher. How was your day? Uh... I was, no, was very busy, but it's okay. <laughs> it's okay. That's nice. That's a good <laughs> It's <attitude>. normally. 
Yeah, that's good. That's good. Good to know it. Welcome to the class, Ingrid. Thank you, teacher. Okay. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Wilfredo, hello. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. How are you? Hey. Bye. Okay, okay. How was your day? ¿Qué tal el día? Good, good teacher. Nice. Good to know it. Nice. Go on. Okay, welcome to the class. Having you here. Go on, Thank you. Let's see. Veronica. Hi, teacher. Hello, how are you? Mm, good. Relax. Relax. Okay. Yes. That's nice. Is it raining where you live? Mm, poco. A little bit. Uh -huh. Okay, okay. Well, at least you're here. Let me get the attendance, guys, so we can do this part. Uh, Carlos Eduardo Artiga Barros. Carlos Elivaldo Abrego Marmol. Edwin Alberto Rodriguez Lobo. Stephanie Lisset Molina Rodriguez. Present. Gabriel Beltran Perez. Present teacher. Ingrid Beatriz Natalia Palacios Molina. Present teacher. Uh, 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 Ivan Petrovich Guzman Aquino. Ivania Chamilet Dominguez Hernández. Present teacher. Ivet Lisset Figueroa de Cayo. Karen Beatriz Morataya Segovia. Present. Carla Lisset García Lemos. Luis Antonio Abrego Sarabia. Present teacher. Magdaleno Escalante Orantes. Present teacher. Maylin Janet Manzano Montoya. Present teacher. Nelson Antonio Rodas Rosales. Present teacher. Thank you. Oscar Armando Romero Mendoza. Present teacher. Rosalina Alvarado. Verónica Arelí Ayala Ramírez. Present. Wilfredo Areval Ortiz. Present, teacher. Chimara Elizabeth Cisneros Rosales. Present. Carlos Josué Chávez. Present, teacher, on, on my way. Ok, perfect, perfect, perfect. Let's see, guys. Oh, there's somebody else. Let's see. Let me just get this name. Edwin Alberto Rodriguez Lobo. Present teacher. Thank you, mister. Okay, guys. Well, let me just check. Somebody was reporting the storm. Let me just check.
Okay, let's see. Well, let's see who else is around. Mailing, hello, how are you? Hello, teacher, I'm fine, and you? I'm just fine, just fine. You know, same old story. And tell me, how are you doing? Are you doing better? How's your health? Uh, yes, teacher, I'm better. Okay, that's great, that's great. Back to work? Yes. Um... How do you say nunca dejé de trabajar? <laughs> oh, I never stopped. Uh, I never stopped work. <laughs> work, work. Oh, that's bad. That's bad. Well, but the good thing is you are doing good on your health. Lo bueno que está bien de salud. That's what matters. Thank you, teacher. Let's see. Uh, 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 uh. Oscar Armando, hello, good evening, mister. How are you? Good evening, sir. Good evening, good evening. How are you, mister? How was your day? A little, a lot of work. A little uh, rest, but I'm fine. Okay, that's nice. That's great, that's great. Yes, yeah, sure. Excellent, welcome to the class. Let's see. I, uh, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Ivania, hello. Hello, teacher. How are you? Great. Excellent, excellent. That's a good answer. You're doing great. That's nice. Okay, Carlos. Thank you. So, how was your day, Ivania? How was your day? A good day? Un buen día? Yes. Fine. Okay. That's nice. That's nice. That's good one. And welcome to the class. Let's see. Hmm. Who else is around? They got a lot of people. But uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. Karen Beatriz, hello. Hello, teacher. How are you? Ah, uh, stress. <laughs> You're stressed. Why? Why are you stressed? Because there is not electricity and there is a, a storm. Oh, really? Oops. Well, save your data. We will talk later. Thank you. Welcome. Okay, thank you. Great, great, great. Let's see. Rosalina, hello, how are you? Uh, good night. Teacher in class, I have a friend because have a uh, electric brain. Oh yeah. What? It was very strong, right? Oh my god. Yeah. 
see. Well, but the good thing is that we are here together and ready. Welcome to the class. Let's see, guys. Well, 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 well. Now, if you remember yesterday, we had a little activity. But I told you yesterday that we were going to perform tonight. So let's see. Do you remember that you were supposed to tell me about the products you had? So, Veronica, tell me, who was one of your partners? Quem foi nosso companheiro? Xiomara, creo, si Xiomara. Okay, tell me about the, one of the products. Uh, the name, um, Platin Chips, uh, El Col, uh, one, two, three, size, uh -huh. uh, 12 by 4 centimeters, como se dice? Centimeters. Tiny meters. Okay. Ay, no sé cómo. No Tiny meters. Tiny meters. Okay, perfect. Lo, lo, lo voy a ensayar. Eh, ingredients. Eh, ingredients. Lemon, ingredients. Lemon, platen, and salt. Eh, okay. Whey. Three. Ounce, ounces and price 70 cents. 70 cents. Okay. Mm -hmm. A good price. A good price. Thank you very much. Mailing. Your turn. Hello, Kish. Okay. And, um, I don't remember the name of partner, but uh, but you remember snack. the product? The product is uh, the name is Papacita Snack. The uh -huh. code is two, three, six, eight, seven, nine. Size is the um, how do you say it's four? I'm uh, sorry. Yes. El signo de multiplicar, ¿cómo se pronuncia? Times. <laughs> Times. Times. Tens, times. Ten. Centimer. Centimers. Uh, the ingredients is salt, potato, and season. Seasoning. Uh, Seasoning. Okay. Way is eight, eight grams. The price okay. is 10 cents. Okay, perfect. Thank you. Now, let's see. Let's see. Mm -hmm. Antonio, Antonio Rodas, you are here with the activity, right? Okay, teacher. My partner was Edwin. Okay. What was his uh -huh. product? And he, and he told me about Alpina water. Okay. This is the name, Alpina water. And code is 7, 4, 11, 16. The size uh -huh. was 10 inch for seven inch for 10 inch nine, nine unit per box. The ingredients okay. ingredients purified water. The weight was a little per unit. In the okay. in the price per unit was zero point. 75 per unit and 
57 per box. Only that teacher. Okay, perfect, perfect. Excellent. Now, 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 let's see who else, who else got something from me. Rosalina, what you got? Yes. Tell me about one of your classmates' products, please. Okay. My classmate yesterday. Yep, one of their products, the product of the models. Okay, I remember Carlita talking about um, antibacterial foam. Uh huh. And she said um, the the cost uh, five near five dollar. <clears throat> okay. And she liked the color. No, the the smell perfume. Something. Okay. I remember this point. And the other hand, um, I don't remember exactly the components. Only alcohol and she say the another words, but I don't remember right now. Granity, okay, gravity. That's, yeah. That's okay. That's okay. Perfect. Thank you. Okay, you were. Ingrid, Beatrice. Hi. Hi. <laughs> okay. The product my bar, my coworker. Uh, I remember Norton. Um. Uh, the ingredients. Um, ingredients. Ingredients. Um. I don't remember when, but I the code is a five three zero zero five three zero eight two. The price is two or five dollars. From two to five dollars. Okay, that's fine. Excellent. Thank you. Okay, guys. Well. It was a very nice activity. Now, today we are going to have a new, a new um, a new topic, a new unit. But we are going to also have a different type of activity, okay? So we are going to talk about we got the topic and let's see. I got three questions that you're going to be asking to your classmates and that's going to be our first activity. Okay, we're going to have a conversation. The questions are the following one, okay? The questions are, do you spend a lot of time when preparing for something? How much time do you spend sleeping? Do you wish you could sleep more? Those are the questions we are going to be working with. Now, those questions I'm going to, I just share them with you in the Zoom chat and I'm also sending it to your WhatsApp group so you can have it there. So do you spend a lot of time when preparing for something? Magdaleno, tell me, what about you? Oh, I'm trying to understand the, the activity, so sorry. Okay, you're going to be working in groups. I'm just going to do the example with you, okay? So you're okay. going to be working in groups. Right now, you're going to help me with the example for your class. So I'm going to ask you, Magdaleno, do you spend a lot of time when preparing for something? Ah, so sorry, teacher. Do you uh, you said you do you spend a lot of time for what? You can check it in the Zoom chat or in the WhatsApp chat. In Zoom chat. 
Okay, this gentleman when preparing for something. Okay, to do something or to make when something. When preparing, one activity. when preparing. Imagine that, uh, okay. Imagine that you got a party. Yeah. Okay. Do you spend a lot of time getting ready? Yeah, teacher, I, I, I want to share with you when, when I have a, when I, um, no, when I will have a activity uh, at church, we prepare the, this activity, maybe, maybe with one month uh, before the activity, we have a, yearly plans and we have uh, monthly monthly plans yeah we we prepare each activity with a with a lot of anticipation okay now look at this question what about you you have a party tonight uh -huh. and you need to get ready how much time do you spend getting ready, like taking a shower, or getting dressed? <laughs> Maybe 10 minutes. <laughs> Maybe 10 minutes. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Only take one shirt and one pants. And it's okay. Yeah, I'm ready. Let's go. Okay, perfect. <laughs> Thank you, Magdalena. <laughs> Thank you, teacher. Ingrid, imagine that you're having a party tonight. Tell me, how much time, or, or the question that we got here, do you spend a lot of time when preparing for something, for an event? Mm, maybe, uh, maybe one week, two week. <laughs> no, 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 no. You have a party tonight. Ah, okay. How much time does it take you to get ready? Um, to 45 minutes. 45 minutes, okay? Yes. Now, I want everybody to think in that context. Todos vamos a pensar en este contexto. There's a party tonight. Hay un evento, una fiesta. We are invited. Estamos invitados. Do you spend a lot of time when preparing for something? For that party? Nos tardamos mucho en arreglarnos, en prepararnos para eso. Then the second question, how much time do you spend sleeping? Like imagine you ask me that, I spend like four hours per night, from four to five hours. That's what I sleep, thoughts. Or perhaps uh, I ask one of you, do you wish you could sleep more? Those questions are the ones that you are going to be asking each other. Hello, Ivan, welcome. And right now, I'm gonna get you. Hello, teacher. I I did not I did not internet. Sorry. No problem. No problem. So right now, I'm going to send you to the groups. Let's see. Yes, Magdaleno. Um, only one question, teacher. In the no. second, yeah, in the good. second, in the second question. Is the time per uh, ounce a day? No, no. How much time? Cuando le preguntan, how much time? Cuánto tiempo? Cuántas horas? Cuántos minutos? Ajá. Ajá. How much time in my day I am sleeping? This is the question. How much time do you spend sleeping? Sería como preguntarle cuánto tiempo duerme usted por las noches. Correcto, esa era mi pregunta, no supe cómo hacerla. Okay, there. That's, that's the question. How much time do you spend sleeping? Oh, I spend just like four hours per day. Okay. Four to five hours, tops. Okay, okay. thank you, teacher. Okay. I understood. Okay, great. Well, guys, let's jump in. This is, I know, this is a lot of conversation. So you will have eight minutes for this activity, okay? I need you to ask and answer. And I need you to take 
a little bit of notes, como unas pequeñas notas, like Ingrid, 45 minutes. Ingrid, uh, eight hours per night. Okay? You take notes about your classmates because I'm going to ask you about your classmates. Okay? So let's do it. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Okay, groups are open. Hola, teacher. Disculpe, están en grupo los demás compañeros. Yes, Edwin. And I'm going to send you right now. No sé por qué no me envió. Es que creo que porque, porque me, sal, me sacó la, la aplicación. No problem, no problem. But I'm okay. sending you to a group right about now. Ok. No le pareció que lo enviaba. Okay. Hello, teacher. Hello, Carlos. Carlos, you're in the dark. Está oscura. Yeah, I don't have light. Okay, you're working on your computer or your cell phone? And my cell phone. Okay. Turn off the camera. Desactive la camera. So you can save data and battery. Así ahorra batería y datos. Sí, como lo tengo a 100%, usted. Ah, okay. No problem. No problem. No problem. No problem. Okay. Yeah, I'm waiting for Edwin. Edwin was sent here. A Edwin lo envié para acá, por lo que no le cargó. No, me lo sacó el sistema. No. I go look for him. It's raining. Yeah, it's raining in some places. Terrible. Okay. Ahora para Carlos Eduardo. Do you spend a lot of time when preparing for something? Oh, Carlos is just going to be listening right now because he's having problems with the microphone. Él está teniendo problemitas con el micrófono. Esto lo va a escuchar. Uh, I'm sorry. Bueno, entonces, Karen, do you spend a lot of time when preparing for something? Yes, um, about two hours. Two hours. Bye. Entonces ahora ustedes me preguntan a mí. Xiomara, do you spend a lot of time when preparing for something? No much. I. And how many hours do you want to sleep more? Huh? Antes que caiga un rayo se me vaya la inter porque mi <laughs> cámara no funciona. Chel <laughs> agua. How much? No se oye. Oh God, no. <laughs> Oops. Hey. Um, and I'm very sick, but I I can more sleep. More hours. In the uh, fin de semana. ¿Puedo dormir más? <laughs> yes. Sometimes weekend. Uh, I. Uh -huh. You no. can. You can sleep more in the weekend. I. Um, you. Luis. Luis. Maybe. You. I. I. Uh, I don't know. I don't, because because I work on weekend. 
I am a uh, pastor and I uh, have to and I have to worship and on weekends. I have different projects into the church. Uh, oh, nice. mm -hmm. and I in the weekend uh, something I sleep later maybe watching movie. A veces me acuesto más noche porque igual son los únicos días que me queda tal vez de lugar de ver una película o algo así. Pues aprovecho. I don't use I don't use TV. I don't remember when was the last uh, the last night when I see a movie when I saw a movie. <laughs> I don't remember. That. <laughs> in my case, I I can sleep more hour in the weekend, but. I I can but I try <laughs> a <little> bit more. <laughs> you don't feel uh, do you uh, do you feel that your bed reject you after 6 a.m.? 6 a.m. yes. <laughs> reject yes. you. <laughs> Sí, te rechazo después de las 6 de la mañana la cama. ¿Cómo? La cama te rechaza después de las 10 de la de las 6 de la mañana. Your bed reject you. No. No. <laughs> no. For me, yes. Sometimes when I have time, when I have when I have um, maybe one day off. <laughs> I can sleep after <laughs> 6 a.m. The bed say, get out, get out. <laughs> uh, yeah. Now my bed is not yeah, You know, I can hurt myself when sleeping. I can? Hurt myself while sleeping. That's what I, that's how I know that I'm old. You say you can sleep here because, uh, look at this. I can or myself. Así no se le escucha por la lluvia, teacher. Se le escucha bien cortado, bien. While no, no. sleeping. I can hold myself. Yo puedo. What is means? Hurt myself, lastimarme. Yo puedo. Ah. Ah. <laughs> Ah. Entonces, entonces yo sería, yo me puedo, me puedo lastimar a mí mismo mientras duermo. Yeah. Is right? Yep. It no. has happened to me. Ya me ha pasado. Really? Yeah. I know that it has happened to some of you. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm going to take things. That sometimes you go to sleep. And when you wake up, if you sleep too long, you learn mucho. Can you mm -hmm. hear me better now? Can I put mejor ahora? It's better. Okay, it was the position, the distance from the microphone. My microphone is right here. Okay. Mm. Okay, so sometimes I go to bed, and if I sleep too long, I wake up, my back hurts, my shoulder Teacher. hurts, everything hurts. <laughs> I, I'm really so for sorry me? for your wife. Okay. <laughs> yes. It really, yeah, it's, really. It's terrible. It's say, terrible. No, teacher. And week, um, um, sometime weekend, you can, can you sleep more hour or same wake up? Uh, early. I need to. Well, I can sleep like uh, on the weekend. Sometimes, sometimes to be honest with you, sometimes I sleep up until eight or nine a.m. But I, I have, that. I have gone to sleep around two or three a.m. All day. That is the reason. Yes. 
It's just that I, as I told you, I am good for staying up late. Soy bueno para desvelarme. Nice. But for waking up, uh, that's a whole different enchilada. Pero para expresarse es distinto. Teacher, ¿cómo se escribe desvelarse? Oh, we don't have a word in English. Realmente no tenemos una palabra en inglés. Take up late at night. Oops, I'm es sorry. Es una frase. Yep. It's just that there's not a specific word. No hay una palabra específica. Okay. Stay up. Eso es quedarse hasta tarde en la noche. Yeah. That's desvelarse, ¿no? Desvelarse. The same happens with... Uh, with... Uh, antier. We say antier, right? Anteayer. In English, um, we have that word. En inglés no existe eso. You say the day before yesterday. Ah, uh, tampoco la palabra como pasado mañana, vea. No, the no. day after tomorrow. Ajá, uh -huh. sí estaba viendo. The day before, before yesterday. Y la otra era the day. Before, the day. After, tomorrow. Day after tomorrow. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. Very interesting, right? Yes. Yeah, right. Yes. Uh, really interesting. In Spanish, the the word is very short. Yeah, yeah. It's because we have one term to explain that whole situation. Tenemos un término que explica toda esta situación. Yes. Mm -hmm. As I told you once, uh, in English we have expressions like like cold the sun. Okay, we in Spanish we don't have an expression that expresses that idea. Mm -hmm. To start with, para comenzar, it comes from French. Okay. No, no understand you. I don't get no it. tenemos una expresión que explique, que explique esa, esa idea. Okay, and, and what, what does idea mean? What the sentence means? In Spanish. Cut the sack. Cut the sack. Uh -huh. Cut. It's cut the sack. Yeah. Okay. That's good. It's not a, it's not a idiom, so. What is that? That phrase, that phrase uh, belongs to French, to be honest. Eso pertenece al francés. To start with, okay? Mm -hmm. uh, okay. It is used to express, no es un callejón sin salida because it is a callejón sin salida, but it's not a callejón sin salida. Hold on, bear with me. Tenga mi paciencia. I will explain. Okay, for us, when we say callejón sin salida, it's, it's a street that, uh, well, actually, I'm sorry, realmente tiene que ser like this, like this, with the high fence. Tiene que ser con los high fence. Those. Okay, you can see. Okay, those are called in English. They are called uh, hyphen. Yeah. Okay. okay. Now, it's a street mm -hmm. that has an end. It's in a topic, but it doesn't end flat. No termina plana. It opens like in a circle. Llega al final de la calle, pero en una forma de círculo. Y hay casas alrededor. Here, in El Salvador, we don't have that many of those. Acá no solemos tener este tipo de construcciones. Imagínense una calle, va recto, y esta calle al final no termina plana, sino que 
termina como que fuera un redondelito. Uh -huh. y, en el, y en ese redondel está, hay casas. Y ¿sí? alrededor. Entonces la calle llega y se abre hacia las casas. Que están uh -huh. en el redondel. Pero ya no hay otra salida. O sea, para salir hay que regresar. That's a cool de fact. We don't, here in El Salvador, to be honest with you, let me see, where did I see one? ¿Dónde vi uno? I guess in la tienda. In... By Zaragoza. And by, mira, Monte. There's one. Por la uh. mira, Monte. Por la... Corporación, Grupo Sanix, I guess. I don't know. There's one of the Ajá, radio. Uh -huh. There's one that is like this. Uh -huh. It's very short. Just like two or three houses. That's a cold de sac. Three strip or two or four. No, two or three strip have the... No, lo no. que pasa es que está aquí. Eh, está el redondel de la Miramonte del... No recuerdo el nombre. Uh -huh. Baden Powell, eh, uh -huh. si usted sigue hacia arriba, está la corporación de radio, está dos cuadras arriba, o una, una creo, pero a la izquierda, yendo hacia arriba, hay una pequeña callecita que termina así, en un redondelito, uh -huh. esos son called the fact. Mm. It's weird, but that expression, we don't have it in Spanish, and that's the thing, that we don't have that expression in Spanish, okay? So it's, okay. it's it's interesting because in English we have expressions like that. Uh, the other day I was explaining to you, uh, we have a, how do we call it? Uh, sweet bread, do you remember? Sweet, sweet bread. bread, yeah. Can be two different things. It can be pan dulce. Como dice teacher? Sweet bread. Look at in the chat, in the Zoom chat. Sweet bread. Yeah. Pan dulce. También mollejas. Mollejas. ¿Qué? <laughs> Pero es la molleja que nos, con nosotros conocemos molleja. Yeah, from the chicken. Ah. Oh. Y también We're right. en Estados Unidos es esas dos. Yeah, that's English. Complete. Hey, let's go back to the main room. <laughs> okay, okay, let's see. Rosalina, how much time do you spend sleeping? Tell me. Okay, uh, for example, if I go to the party, I spend about 30 minutes. Like 30 minutes, okay. If you're going to the party, uh, for going to work? Uh, uh, it depends. If uh, I wake up late, I only 15 minutes and go home. <laughs> and go to work. Yeah. Take okay. a bus and go. Or take a car, depend on the situation. <laughs> Okay, okay, that's interesting, that's interesting. Thank you. Let's see, Mr. Petrovich. Hi, teacher. Bueno, este, I go to the work um, 30 mi minutes. Okay. 30 minutes. Okay. Yes. Take a shower, um, uh, vestirse, dress and get, get, get dressed, get dressed, get dressed. Um, I take a breakfast. Okay. Hmm. Interesting. Let's see, let's see. In my case, hmm. To be honest with you, it takes me like, if I wake up late in 10 minutes, I'm out on the street. Yeah, sometimes you have to. Let's see, let's see who else. 
Okay, okay. Carla, Carla Lisette, welcome. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Tell me, Carla, what about you? How long does it take you to get ready? Okay. Um, 25 minutes. 25 minutes? Okay. Mm -hmm. That's yes. acceptable. In 25 minutes, you're ready. Yes. Um, and take a shower, eh, alaciar el cabello. Eh, okay. Strain heart, creo que es. Eh, no, no, no. Uh, well, what do you do? You do your hair? Como you can say just, cabello, oh, okay. el cabello. Yeah, straight. But actually, you can just say it like this. Puedo resumirlo de esta manera. Doing my hair. Doing my hair. Cuando usted okay. dice doing my hair, it includes uh, the ironing, the, the, the combing, okay, the brushing. Ahí le incluye todo el planchado, cepillado, everything. Okay. Oh, okay. Okay. You got it? Yes. Perfect. Perfect. Okay. That's nice. That's nice. Mailing. Mm -hmm. what about you, Mailing? Tell me. In my case, I spend one hour. Uh-huh. Uh, 10 minutes in take a shower, um, 20, um, how do you say, uh, do you, do you hair or? Do my. My hair, okay. Um, the rest time, uh, it's okay, the rest time. <laughs> okay, the rest, the rest time. of the time. I... I make up and get dressed. Okay, interesting. Well, thank you very much. Thank you. Okay, guys, I know that all of you did the activity and that you were having conversation, but it's time for us to jump into section number two. Unit number two. In unit number two, we are going to be working with uh, directions and instructions, okay? So we are going to start right now with a uh, conversation, actually. We are gonna start with a conversation that I'm going to share with you. So we are gonna go to the manual, vamos al manual, okay? And in the manual, uh, let's see. This is the Interfer manual. You got page number 19. Okay. Exercise two. We are starting in unit number two, direction 10 instruction. So and the instruction, listen to your teacher, read the conversation, then practice with a partner. Okay, let's see. My name is Tom. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. I'm Orson. I work for Hodge. Oh. I know that company. There is an office in San Salvador downtown. Yes, we're growing. So there are not many branches in the country yet. There are a few. What company do you work for? I work for Echo, the painting company. There are 25 branches in the country. That's great. I visited one of the stores the other day. Yeah. There are six in San Salvador. We are planning on launching one in Santa Ana this day. There isn't one yet. Okay. So, I yes. repeat. Yes? What is the meaning branches? Sucursales. Uh, mm. Thank you. It also means... Uh, Teacher, I, I don't... I don't see uh, I don't see words in the picture. Oh, okay. 
must be the sign out. Puede ser la señal. But don't worry uh -huh. that I'm going to send you to the... No, no problem. Yeah, I can see. I, I can see. Okay. Remember, we are in page number 19. I guess all of you got the manual, right? If not, I'm going to send it again in WhatsApp. Don't worry. Okay, so I repeat. My name is Tom. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. I'm awesome. I work for Hodge. Oh, I know that company. There is an office in San Salvador downtown. Yes, we're growing. So there are not many branches in the country yet. There are a few. What company do you work for? I work for Echo, the painting company. There are 25 branches in the country. That's great. I visited one of the stores the other day. Yeah, there are six in San Salvador. We are planning on launching one in Santa Ana this day. There isn't one yet. Okay, guys, you're going to be working in pairs. Oh, something that uh, I made a mistake in the pronunciation and I'm going to correct it right now for you. Un pequeño error en la pronunciación se lo voy a explicar right now. Uh, do you know the pronunciation of the word that? ¿Conocemos esa palabra? Sí. Ok, how do you pronounce it? ¿Cómo la pronunciamos? Sí. Ok, sí. when? Esa, esa, si no me... Uh, oh, so sorry, teacher, I'm in English class. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Ok. I got two pronunciation. Uh, I remember. Okay, so teacher, excuse me. How do you remember it, Magdalena? Teacher, okay, let, let me explain, yeah, let me explain. Many, okay, many sorry. Many. Okay. Um, uh, the is, cuando, is when, when, when the article is before, is before an, and consonant and D when it is before a vowel is right, teacher. Yes, exactly. Look, the car or the car. You can say the or the. The car or the car. In this case, the apple. B before a vowel. The before a consonant. Okay. That's the that's the rule. Teacher, now, re re repeat exceptions. The, the rule. Okay. Esta es una regla fonética, and that's something the, that you must remember. The pronunciation, teacher. Okay. Okay. Thank you. The, 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 or the. Algunas personas le van a decir da. Some people is going to tell you de. That's used before a consonant. Okay? D is used before a vowel. D before a vowel. La pronunciación D antes de una vocal. Exception. Um, look in the Zoom chat. Van a analizar the Zoom. University. University. We don't say the university. We say the university. Why? Listen to the sound. G university. That's not a vowel sound. G the university. Got it? So this rule. It's a phonetics. It's about the sound. Muchas reglas en inglés se refieren al sonido. And we must be careful with that. Okay, so and this then, one. I'm sorry? Okay, and, and then when the sound of the next uh, word is uh, like a consonant is 
is uh, is done. You have, you have the rules correct, Magdaleno, with one little detail. Usted tenía las reglas correctas con un pequeño detallito. Before a vowel sound, before a consonant sound. A consonant okay? sound. It's okay. Thank you. The same applies with the use of uh, this one. A uh, and an. Some people say a. Some people say a. Okay. Some people say a car. Some people say a car. Okay. So like a. Uh, it's uh -huh. the same. This this rule is related to the sound. Acá la regla normalmente tiene que ver con el sonido. You know that you use an and before a vowel, an elephant. Okay. An apple, a university, an hour, an hour, an hour. It's weird, right? But it's because of the sound. Remember, some rules, you got to be careful with that in English. Cuando se trata en inglés, you got to be careful with that. Some rules apply to the sound specifically, okay? But let's go to the conversation, guys. Vamos a la conversación. Let me get you in pairs so you can do the conversation. You will have four minutes to practice the pronunciation. Four minutes. Yeah, I'm going to recreate the groups. Okay, let's see. Give me just a second. Okay, groups are created. Let's do it. That's great. I visited one of the stores the other day. Yeah, there are six in San Salvador. We are planning on launching one in Santa Ana these days. There isn't one yet. Okay. Uh, empieza. Si gusta, si gusta, ahora empieza usted. Your stars. Okay, my name is Tom. Nice to meet you. Not many branches in the country yet. There are few. What company do you work for? I work for ECO, the painting company. There are 25 branches in the country. That's great. I visit one of the stores the other, no, the other day, I think. The uh, other day. The other day. The uh -huh. other day. The other day. Yeah, there are six in San Salvador. 
We are planning a launch one on Santana these days. There isn't one yet. There's yeah. one yet. Hmm? Teacher, what, how do you pronounce Hutch? Is correct in the second paragraph? Yeah, Hutch. Hutch. You can say Hutch. 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 Okay. Hutch. Hutch. Mm -hmm. And <laughs> the last one is launching or yep. launch. Launch. Launching. Launching. Como, como launch. Launching. Pero más largo. La launching. launching. Like that, Magdalena. Launching. Perfect. Okay, launching. Launching. Can Magdalena change? Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. No, yeah, I'm switch. Also. Switch. No switch. change. Switch. switch. Ah, switch. Ah, okay. Switch. For <laughs> <laughs> okay. okay. okay, Go ahead. You are having problems with the connection. Yeah, it's a uh, so much problem. Let's see. Vamos a tratar de mover otro grupo, okay? Okay. Okay, let's see. We're just waiting for a couple of your classmates. So let's try for a part of the company. Everybody's coming right about now. Okay, let's see, let's see. Carlos Elibaldo and, oh no, Carlos, I guess is having problem. Carla Lizette and Veronica Ayala, please, you start. Carla, you start. Okay. My name is Tom, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. I am Orson, I work for Hodge. Oh, I know that company. There is an office in San Salvador, you know? 
Yes, we are growing. So there are not many branches in the country yet. There are few. What company do you work for? I work for Echo, the painting. Painting. Painting company. There are 25 branches in the country. That's great. I visited one of the stores the other day. Yeah, there are seats in San Salvador. We are planning on launching one in Santa Ana these days. There isn't one yet. Okay, perfect. Thank you very much. Magdaleno and Megan. Magdaleno, you start. Okay, teacher. Uh, my name is Tom. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. I'm Arson. I work for Hush. Oh, I know that company. There is an office in San Salvador downtown. Yes, we're growing, growing. So there are not many branches in the country yet. There are few. There are few. What company do you work for? I work for Eco, the painting company. There are 25 branches in the country. That's great. I visit one of the stores the other day. Yeah, there are six in San Salvador. We're planning on launching in the in Santa Ana there's days there isn't one yet. Okay, visited. Visited. Excellent, thank you. Uh, Ivan and Karen. Ivan, you start. Cool. Cool star. Ah, okay. Um, my name is Tom. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. I am Orson. I work for Hodge. Oh, I know that company. There is an office in the San Salvador downtown. Yes, we are growing. So there are not many branches in the country yet. There are few. What company do you work for? Okay, I work for Eco, the painting company. There are 65, excuse me, 25 branches in the country. That's great. I visited one of the store the other day. Yeah, there are six in San Salvador. We are planning on launching one in Santa Ana these days. There isn't one yet. Perfect. Carlos Josué Chávez and Gabriel Beltrán, please. Okay. Okay. Comienzo yo o Beltrán. Eh, Carlos. Okay. You start. Este, eh, fíjese que se ve una. Bueno, ya está, ya está. Ya está, ya estamos. Eh, no logro ver las letras, fíjese, no sé si será la señal o qué, teacher. You have it on the WhatsApp, y tiene la imagen en el WhatsApp. You can check it out from there. Ok, let me check. Ok, comienzo entonces. Este, my name is Tom, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. I'm Orson, I work for us. Oh. I know that company. There is an office in San Salvador downtown. Yes, we are growing so there are not many brands in the country. Country yet. There are few that what company do you work for? I work for Echo, the painting company. There are 25 branches in the country. That's, That's great. great. That's great. I visited 
This is one of the store the other day. Yeah, there are six in San Salvador. We are planning, planning on launching one in Santa Ana. This day, there, there is one jet. These days, these days. This day. Luis Abrego and Xiomara Elizabeth. Okay, teacher. Luis yes, Yes. Okay. My name is Tom. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. I'm Orson. I work for Oats. Oh, I know the company. There is an office in San Salvador down. Yes, we're growing. So there are not many branches in the country yet. There are few. What company do you work for? I work for Echo, the tiny company. There are 25 branches in the country. That's great. I visited one of the stores the other day. Yeah, there are six in San Salvador. We are planning on launching one in Santa Ana these days. There isn't one yet. Okay, perfect. Thank you very much. Antonio Rosa and Wilfredo Arevalo, please. Antonio, you start. Okay. My name is Tom. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. I'm Orson. I work for Ovi. Oh, I know. I know that company. There is an office in San Salvador downtown. Yes. We are growing, so there are not many boys in the company, yet there are few. What company do you work for? I work for Echo, a painting company. There are 25 branches in the country. That's right. I visited one of the stores the other day yeah yeah there are six in san salvador you finish we are trying on large one in santa ana that's right the reason one yet okay the painting company the painting company the painting company Okay, thank you. Ivania and Oscar. Ivania, you start. Uh, my name is Tom. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. I am also. I work for Hoist. Oh, I know the company. There is an office in San Salvador, South Town. Yes, we're growing. So there are not uh, many branches in the, the country yet. There are fair, I tell them. What company do you work for? I work for ACO, the country company. There are 25 range in the country. That's great. I visit one of the stores. Okay. okay. Yeah, there are six in San Salvador, Oscar. Yeah, there are six in San Salvador. Finish, Giovanni. We are planning on launching one in Santa Ana these days. There is an one ship. Okay, thank you, Vania. Thank you, Oscar. Edwin, Alberto, and Ingrid. Who is star teacher? Edwin starts. Okay. Uh, my name is Tom. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. I am Orson. I am War for Hot. Oh, I know that company. 
There is an office in San Salvador, downtown. Yes, we're grow we are growing, so there are not many branches in the country yet. There are few. What company do you do work for? I work for Echo, the painting company. There are 25 branches in the country. That's great. I visited visited one of the store the other day. Yeah, there are six in San Salvador. We are planning or launching launching on the one in Santa Ana this day. There isn't one yet. We are planning. We are planning. Okay, now Rosalina and me. Hi, sir, Rosalina. Okay. My name is Tom. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. I am Orson. I work for Hodge. Oh, I know that company. There is an office in San Salvador downtown. Yes, we're growing. So there are not many branches in the country yet. There are few. What company do you work for? I work for Echo, the painting company. There are 25 branches in the country. That's great. I visited one on the store the other day. Yeah, there are six in San Salvador. We are planning on launching one in Santana these days. There isn't one yet. Okay, perfect. Thank you very much. You're welcome, teacher. Okay, guys. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let me just check on little something. Okay. Now. Uh, the the grammar is quite simple, right? Hey guys, I forgot asking for the attendance. I'm so sorry. I'll take it right about now. Carlos Eduardo Artiga, Artiga Barrios. Yes, teacher. Carlos Elivaldo Abrego Marmol. Present teacher. Edwin Alberto Rodriguez Lobo. Present teacher. Stephanie Lisette Molina Rodriguez. Gabriel Beltrán Pérez. Present teacher. Ingrid Beatriz Natalia Palacios Molina. Present teacher. Iván Petrovich Guzmán Aquino. I'm here. Ivania Chamilet Domínguez Hernández. Present teacher. Yvette Lisette Figueroa de Calle. Karen Beatriz Moratalla Segovia. Present. Carla Lisette García Lemos. Present teacher. Luis Antonio Abrego Sarabia. Present teacher. Magdaleno Escalante Orantes. Present teacher. Maylin Janet Manzano Montoya. Present teacher. Nelson Antonio Rodas Rosales. Present teacher. Oscar Armando Romero Mendoza. Present teacher. Rosalina Alvarado. Present teacher. Verónica Arelia Chala Ramírez. Present. Wilfredo Areval Ortiz. Present teacher. Chemara Elizabeth Cisneros Rosales. Present. Carlos Josué Chávez. Present, oh. teacher. Thank you, Carlos. Okay, guys. Now, let's see. I know that you already know this topic, so I'm going just to make a small review. Okay, the grammar is very simple, right? We have there is. We also have in English the expression. Oops. There are, and everybody knows that 
these two expressions, they mean I. When we talk about the, the when we talk about this Spanish, and um, oops. And you know that both expressions actually mean exactly the same, right? Now, something else that we remember is this, that, and the use of them is different because one of them is, uh, 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 one of them is used for singular, And the other one is used for plural. Examples. There is a problem with my internet connection. Now, if you notice, we have here A, and this can be also, instead of writing A, I could have written one, right? Or I could have written the expression that. There's the problem with my internet connection. There's one problem with my internet connection. Remember, these three are singular. Then we have examples with the plural. Okay. There are many students in my class right now. And if you see this expression, when we use many, we are talking about more than one. This one expresses plural. I could say a number, there are 20, there are 16, there are 17, and that's okay. So this is the grammar, it's quite simple, right? The grammar point for this is very, very simple. Necesitaban la imagen que hizo? No, right? Teacher. Yep. When when use the there are, uh, maybe use the other. For example, there are. Eh, eh, mi pregunta es que si se pueden ocupar otras palabras. Yeah, no, you can say, you can use, no, you can use quantifiers, you can use numbers, both have numerals. Like uh, right now I can say, oh, there are 19 students in my class. I guess nueve alumnos in the class. Okay. You see, there are 19. There are a lot of ladies in this class, actually. Hay muchas chicas en la clase. Let's see, there's one, two, three, four. You see, there are a lot, there are many, there's there's a few, okay? The expression a few uses there is, why? Because if you notice, the expression is a few. Uh-huh, a few now, use when when I am explaining. I am explaining this for the for this reason. Le voy a aclarar porque I'm sorry. I will switch into Spanish. Voy a pasar al español. Discúlpeme por la aclaración. Okay. Eh, les explico el ese detallito con el a few because if we try to understand it in Spanish, it doesn't make sense. Si tratamos de entenderlo en español, no va a tener sentido. ¿Por qué? Porque cuando digo a few, puedo Puede significar un poco o puede significar unos cuantos. 
que para nosotros, unos cuantos, es plural, ¿verdad? No Spanish. Right? Yes. So, forget about Spanish. Olvidémonos del español. A. A. P. The letter A, ¿qué indica en inglés? Un o una. Right? That's the point. Es el punto. That's our guide. So, let's forget about how we understand it in Spanish. Let's focus on the English. There is a few. I in, this case, in this case, is, there is a lot. There is a lot. There is a lot. Mm -hmm. Or you can say there are a lot. It's, it's a little bit tricky. And I'm going to explain to you in a few seconds. Es un poquito complicado. Actually, this topic, eh, este tema es un poquito complejo. Why? Because, uh, how can I explain this? Let me think about it. Uh, there is a lot. ¿Por qué? Porque es one lot, not several lot. It refers to a group. Cuando se refiere a un grupo, cuando, uh, I don't know how to say that in Spanish. ¿Cómo se dice en español? When the expression encompasses, envuelve. Cuando la expresión envuelve un grupo, it's singular. Even if it's a big group, aun si ese grupo está formado por muchos miembros. Okay. Now, is there are, cuando decimos, there are lots. Okay. There is a lot, yes, there is a lot of questions in this topic. There is a lot of questions. Hay muchas preguntas. pero es plural. Yeah, but remember, in English, ah, there is a lot of questions. Okay? There are lots of questions. Those two expressions expresses exactly the same. Look, there is a lot of questions. I understood, teacher, the difference consists in the letter S, lots, the plural, and a lot, singular, is right? Mm -hmm. Sort of in a way. <laughs> look at the chat. Yeah, yeah. Look at the look at the Zoom chat. Look at the Zoom chat. Look, there is a lot of questions. There are lots of questions. Cambiaron dos montones. Cosas. Montones Desapareció. de preguntas y un ah, montón de preguntas. Okay. Uh -huh. You see? Un montón. Montones. It could be that there are different topics, different areas. Okay. Teacher. Yes. Also, uh, also the, the many questions. Yeah, there are yes. many questions. It's the same. I am uh, explaining on. this because let me explain what that because people speak this way. La gente habla de Now, grammatically speaking, you say there is a lot of questions. You refer to a, one group of questions, perhaps related just about one specific area. There are lots of questions. Many different types of questions. Okay. Solo fijémonos en la A, nuevamente. The same with a few. Desaparece la A, there are. Tenemos la A, there is. Let's make it simple. Hagámoslo lo más simple, okay? Let's we make use, it simple for you. We you use can use uh, many. Oh. Podemos usar cualquiera. Uh, yeah. 
You can use it. Um, yes, uh, uh, Alina. Yes, tell me, tell me, tell me, Oscar. Excuse me. Uh, uh, Ana Vio. Oh, okay. <laughs> Ana Vio. Yes, also. Awesome. Yeah, you can use anyway. Well, yeah, I have a, a, a question. Uh, if I use men, I use is. If I use men, I use are or, or, or is incorrect. There is or there are. There are there is man or there is, or there are men. Because I men. right now I confuse when the <laughs> after I speak explain the, the topic to lot and you're lots. talking about many. Yeah. Many. Many. Yes. Oh, there are many. Uh -huh. no, a ver, Rosalina, le explico nuevamente. En este caso, la única diferencia es simple. Ubíquese en la letra A. A nos indica un o un. Cuando digo, there, there's a few. Yeah. There's okay. a lot. Yeah, because in the, in, the, <clears throat> in the homework, in the morning, I review some words, some sentences. In one sentence, say one person work. And I think without a or put the a, and then always uh, incorrect, incorrect, and say, and I think I ask about. Okay, but where, which exercise was it? Uh, uh, the last one, the, the, this lesson, unit two, and the exercise, the last one says, uh, I, I don't have a right now. Um, inglés corporativo online, but, o sea, yo traté de hacer el ejercicio porque me gusta leer la clase antes de venir a la clase. Entonces, la última oración dice, um, one, no, dice, a person work and put a person's, no, because no is correct, put, put a en in many ways, but always incorrect. I don't know what happened. And then when you explain about use la a, I think the difference in the this. Ah, oh, okay, you, okay, okay. Do you understand me? There are not person to work. Yeah. People. Yes. People. Ah, okay. uh -huh. there, there is a reason for my question. Man and men. Because I need to... to Clarifying the situation right now. Do you understand me? What is the topic? Yeah, okay. yeah you're talking thank about you. people. In that case, yeah, the thank you, teacher. People. Okay. okay. There are thank not you. people to work. Yeah. Change the, the, the words person for people. Yeah. I got it. I got it. Thank yes, you. Yes, Gabriel. Teacher. Um, plural series. There are two questions in the exam. Perfect. Okay. Porque tú, uh, plural. Yeah. Yes. yeah, it's very simple. And I'm sorry if I make it a little bit complex to you. Uh, a ver, nuevamente, discúlpenme el uso de español, pero tenemos problemas de conexión y de lluvia y de todo. Perdónenme que me haya detenido en este tema, pero you are about to jump into intermediate. And this is this is a good base, and I don't want you to be confused for the wrong. Prefiero que nos confundamos ahorita y aclaremos yes. todas las dudas instead of you having that problem again and again and again. Okay? En lugar de que tengamos este problema de nuevo y de nuevo y de nuevo más adelante. So, questions, guys. Throw me questions. If it's not clear, no problem. Si no estamos del todo claro, ask me. Okay. Let's see. Mm, I see Ingrid like looking like this. Tell me, Ingrid. <laughs> es que va, yo entendí hasta donde explicaba que vamos a utilizar o nos vamos a guiar usando there is cuando es plural y que el, la palabra o la letra A nos va a detallar que estamos hablando de una persona o de una cosa. Okay, there is singular, there mm -hmm. are plural. Uh -huh. Simple. 
tenemos el pequeño detalle que algunas expresiones en inglés llamadas quantifiers, los quantifiers, eh, vamos a ver. Perdón, yo sé que algunos de ustedes ya captaron el tema, pero ténganme paciencia. Es, siempre es bueno que nos quede súper claro. Okay. And you see here, we have there is singular, there are plural, right? Mm -hmm. There is a problem with my internet connection. There are many students. I can say there are two students. Okay. Now, look at this example. Ahora vean este ejemplo. There is a few questions. Acá, ¿qué sucede? Esta oración habla sobre un plural. Pregunta. Lo que sucede es que el quantifier, en este caso, es a few. Y esta expresión no la puedo cambiar. Siempre va a ser a few. Estas dos palabras significan un poco o unas cuantas. Pero, como esta expresión inicia con esta letra y esta letra es un o una, esta letra expresa un singular, entonces yo uso derive. Por eso les ponía el otro ejemplo, que es más fácil de entender y más común. There is a lot of questions. Nuevamente, if you see, we got ah, por eso estoy usando la expresión there is, a pesar que el quantifier es todo esto, a lot, y quiere decir mucho, o un montón, como lo definió claramente Magdalena. Ahora bien. Hay otra manera de decir lo que es muy parecido y que ustedes se lo van a encontrar en el test. Ok. Ok. There are lots of questions. En este caso es eso. Quantifier, pero este quantifier automáticamente ya está en plural. Entonces, por eso nos pide a nosotros que usemos there are, porque aquí dice hay montones de preguntas. Okay. Okay? Uh -huh. Cuando usted tiene lots, es lo mismo que si usted tuviera cuando usted tiene lots, es exactamente lo mismo que si usted tuviera many. Okay? Uh -huh. okay. ¿Estamos bien hasta acá? Sí, thank you. Everybody? Yes. It's better? Quedó mejorcito? Yes, teacher. Uh, uh, a question. Yes. Uh, we can use uh, three four. Why three? Por qué tres? Three is the, um, there are a lot. There are many, uh, there, uh, oh, there are few. You can use, you can use more. Más. There is one, there is two, there is three. Okay. I'm, I'm sorry, there is one, there are two. I'm, my mind is getting confused right now. Okay, there is one, there are two, there are two students, there are three classes. Okay, there are three classes already in this week. Remember, they express an idea, expresan una idea, singular or plural. Okay. Antonio, you have a question? Yes, teacher. Eh, solo referente al, al, al ejercicio de que estaba hablando con Salina. 
eh, no sé si usted se, nos podemos ir al ejercicio del, de la página número 20, no sé si se podría o no, Ticha, porque tengo una duda yo. Ok. Oh, yes, yeah, sure. In the exercise, it's actually what we are going to do right now. Es lo que vamos a hacer en este momento. Ok. No more questions, guys. No más preguntas. No. No se me durmieron. No, no yes. No, I hear the chat. Magdalena says, almost, almost, looking for the pillow. <laughs> almost. My body is here, but my mind is. My, uh, my, yeah, my that happens. My that happens. <laughs> yeah, you are projecting yourself. I am fishing. <laughs> don't worry, don't worry. Okay, okay. Now, read the sentences, find a mistake, and correct it. Okay. So the exercise goes like this. El ejercicio va. There is two branches in El Salvador. Okay. What's the mistake? Let's do it together. Ayudémonos. Sería de Okay. We can use these or it can be this. El error puede ser cualquiera de estos dos. So you can have two different options. You can say there are two branches, right? Mm -hmm. Or or you can say or también podríamos decir There is one branch. In this case, we have a rate, the plural that is expressed here. There are one facilities available. Ah, oh, here the mistake is There is. It could be. Uh, if yes. facilities is plural. Uh -huh. So we have to change also this. There is one facility. Right? So in that case, we will have, and it's a catatondria. We can have, there is one facility. Oh, just one word. Available or the other option for the other option. There are many facilities available. You see? So it depends on the situation is this. The exercise only has a flow. Este ejercicio solamente tiene un detalle, una fight. That you don't have a context. No tenemos un contexto. So we don't know exactly which is the most appropriate. No podemos definir específicamente cuál es la más apropiada. Because there's not a context. There is a new office. Oh, in this case, what's the mistake? Easy, right? There is One. a new office. Oh. Just like that. Because if you write, there are three, there are new offices. And the case of that is the app. Okay? There are not are materials to work. This is easy. There are not materials to work. Let's see.
There is not three boxes in the lobby. Simple, right? So, in the case of these exercises, of these two, the first one, in the case of the primero, the problem is the context. There's not a context that can lead you to decide which is the correct answer. But that's why we have the two options. Por eso le pongo la dos opciones. And that's something that you must be aware all the time in English. Uh, when you are having a conversation, it's going to be easier. Why? Because you will have a context. And the context is going to tell you which is the most correct. I mean, you don't say sentences like that, like on their own. Usually you are in a conversation. Okay? And in a conversation, you can either be using affirmative, negative, or interrogative. That's it. Yes, I even. Affirmative, negative, interrogative. Okay, so don't worry if right now you feel it kind of complex. Uh, what do you think if for tomorrow, I bring you a couple of exercises related to this specific topic? Okay, that we can perhaps develop uh, right at the beginning of it. Okay. So it's going to be easy. I will try to make it more interactive so everybody can participate. And we are not going to forget that we are going to also use the conversation section. Remember, all the time we need to practice. Okay? So give me just one second. Okay. Now let's see. Magdaleno, open your microphone, please. We gotta talk, my friend. <laughs> okay, tell me. I'm time. gonna I'm gonna drag you. I'm going to drag you from your bill. So stop thinking about sleeping. <laughs> it's okay. Drag. Do you know that bird, guys? Drag. Arrastrar. Okay. It's okay. I'm going to drag you. Tell me, Magdalena. Okay, uh, you work in a, in a in a in a church, right? It's right. Okay, please describe describe your church using there is and there are, please, at least four sentences. Of course. Um. Um. My uh, my church. There are there are a lot of chairs. There are, there are. There is speaker. a lot of chairs. There is a lot of chairs. <laughs> there is okay. a lot of chairs. Okay. And uh, there is, no, there are two speakers. Okay, the perfect. Speaker, and there are two microphones for, uh, there are two microphones. There are four guitar, and there are there is one piano. Oh, is piano? Yeah, piano, piano. Mm -hmm. Electric. Okay, perfect. Piano. Excellent. And... Thank you very much. Oh yeah, there. Yeah. Bring me more. Give me more. Give me more. <laughs> and uh, a little park with car wheels. Car wheels. Uh, Oh, I forget the verb to to do to make a hole. Oh, to dig, 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 and um, no, it's, it's not dig. It's grave and um, metidas en la tierra with uh. cartwheels and into the the ground. 
Yeah, it's brave, brave. Grave, right? Yeah, brave. Uh, there is a there is a little park with uh, with car wheels. Interesting. Thank you, Magdaleno. <laughs> Let's see, Carla. <clears throat> Hello, Carla. Hello. Okay, Carla. Uh, let me see. I'm looking at. I am looking at your room right now. Where are you in your house? Is that your uh, dining room? Is that your living room? Where are you? Don't stop. In in a sala, comedor. Live living room. Okay, living room. that's dining room. Okay, now. Describe what it's around. Describe me lo que tiene alrededor. Using there is and there are. Um, there is a... There is no. singular. That's singular. Yes. Um, comedor. Okay, um, a dining set. A dining set. Uh -huh. uh, they are a sofa. There, there is a sofa or there are sofa. They, they are. Sofa. Okay, there are sofa. Perfect. Yes. Um. Okay. Um, now. The, uh, yes, please tell me. There is a, a just one more. There's a TV. Um, is there yes, a TV? There okay, is. there is a TV. You see? Okay, now guys, thank you very much, Carla. Okay. Before we move on. She was talking about the, 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 the living room, okay? You have easy chair, you have a low seat, and you have a sofa. Easy chair is el sillón individual. Just for one, okay? The low seat, okay, para dos. Okay? For two persons, that's love seat. Look in the Zoom chat. And then you got the sofa, it's the big one. El más grande. Okay? They are also called that way. También se le llama así. Teacher, y el uno que es como coach o cow, no sé cómo se pronuncia. Coach, yeah, sure. Is is equal sofa? Yeah. Yeah, you can say uh, yeah because uh, you know it's the same sofa. Es lo mismo que el sofa, el coach. Because there's an expression, Magdaleno. Magdaleno, are you a coach potato? Coach potato is is a man. Who, who rests in a sofa, in a sofa. Push potato es una expresión que describe una persona que pasa solo en el sofá, comiendo bocadillos y viendo pelo. That's a push potato. Push potato. Ingrid says, oh yeah, I want to be a push potato. Ingrid dice, yo quisiera ser, but <laughs> mala suerte. <Bad> luck. <laughs> okay, guys. Ingrid. Hello, Ingrid. You awake? Ingrid is like, yeah, barely. A Hi, teacher. Okay, Ingrid, please describe your bedroom. Uh, there is a one bed. Uh huh. There is a one TV. Okay, there is one TV or there is a TV. You don't say both things. Okay, there is a TV. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. There is a a chair. Okay. There is a table. Mm -hmm. um, there is a, a, 
uh, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> okay, that's fine. That's fine. But everything is just singular. You just have one thing of everything. Uh, okay, guys. Homework for tomorrow. I need you to describe. Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry for the time. I apologize. I got excited with the topic. Homework. I need you to describe one room in from your house or your workplace. Or from your workplace. Perdonen que esté usando español, pero yo sé que la lluvia está molestando para muchos. Una habitación de su casa o de su lugar de trabajo. Using there is and there are. Ok. Ok. At least minimum six sentences. Six sentences. Ok. Six sentences. Six. Six. Ok. You can use affirmative or negative. No problem. Guys, uh, thank you very much. I know you have been more than patient. Yo sé que han sido más que pacientes esta noche. I really appreciate that. I know the situation has been like complex, but I really appreciate it. Let me get the final attendance, please. Carlos Eduardo Ortiga. Carlos Elibaldo Abrego Marmol. Present teacher. Edwin Alberto Rodríguez Lobo. Present teacher. Estefan Elizabeth Molina Rodríguez. Gabriel Beltrán Pérez. Present teacher. Ingrid Beatriz Natalia Palacios Molina. Present teacher. Ivan Petrovich Guzmán Aquino. Present. Thank you, Mr. Ivania Chamilet Domínguez Hernández. Present teacher. Yvette Lisette Figueroa de Calle. Karen Beatriz Morataya Segovia. Carla Lisette García Lemus. Present teacher. Thank you, Carla. Carla, later I will send you. Más tarde le envío. Luis Antonio Abrego Sarabia. Present teacher. Magdalena Escalante Orantes. Present teacher. Maylin Janet Manzano Montoya. Nelson Antonio Rodas Rosales. Present teacher. Oscar Armando Romero Mendoza. Present teacher. Rosalina Alvarado. Present teacher. Verónica Arelia Yala Ramírez. Present. Wilfredo Arevalo Ortiz. Present teacher. Xiomara Elizabeth Cisneros Rosales. Present. Carlos Josué Chávez. Magdalena Escalante. Did I say your name? Mencioné su nombre. You called me. Okay, perfect. Guys, thank you very much. Really appreciate it. Have a good night. Take care. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Bye, -bye. Bye, -bye guys. Good night. Bye. See you tomorrow. Bye, Ivan. Take care. Take care. Ivan, tomorrow perhaps you can give yes, me teacher. a few minutes after the class. Mañana me regalo unos minutitos después de la clase, okay? The final class. No. Yeah, the end of the class. Al finalizar la clase. Okay. Ready. Perfect. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Teacher, sorry. Yeah. Tell me. Tell me, Mister. I I have probably win my, my protocol. Okay, let me see, Carlos. What is your problem? What is your problem? Aparentemente, este, puedo entrar a la plataforma, pero no no me deja entrar a los ejercicios. Bueno, yo envié una imagen allí, teacher. No sé si la vio en en el grupo de WhatsApp. Dice que yo tuve pleito hoy con mi. La voy a reenviar para. Okay. Hagamos algo, porque ahorita tenemos el pleito de que no me lo van a ver la gente de, de soporte por la hora. 
¿Cree sí. que me la puede reenviar mañana a entre las 8 y las 9 de la mañana? No sé si tendrá el espacio. Ok, sí, está bien. Porque Envíela en, realidad... en ese momento para yo acordarme y en ese momento gestionar que eh, hay un chico de soporte que está asignado a nuestro grupo. Ok. Directamente para nosotros. Entonces, eh, uno de ellos le va a ayudar inmediatamente, pero cuando usted envíe el mensaje, yo me voy a acordar, me voy a comunicar con ellos para que ellos se, se comuniquen directamente con usted y le puedan ayudar. La única pregunta es esta. ¿A qué hora puede usted atenderlos a ellos? Eh, exactamente, digamos, a las 8 está bien. No sé, después, después de las 8 se puede, pero muy veces por el trabajo ahí me ando para arriba para abajo el teléfono. Ajá. Digamos que cuando, eh, en realidad, cuando, digamos, envíe, el, 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 envíe la imagen, eh, quizás, está bien como a las 9 y media, quizás. ¿9 y media? Sí. Ok, entonces envíenmela a eso de las 9.15 para yo gestionarle que le estén comunicando con usted en el lapso de 9.30 para que no okay. le interrumpa sus labores. Ok, está bien, Ticha. Bueno, thank Un you. Gusto. No, no, my pleasure. Have a good night. Ok, okay good night, teacher. Ok, now let's... Uh,